6.9 is finally here folks and with it come the Japanese TDs starting at tier 7 and working their way up to tier 10 but what are they actually like? Are they any good? Well I'm going to go for each and every TD in this video so it's a little bit long and I'm not going to go in depth to be fair I only got the TDs myself this morning so let's have a look at them Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and yep 6.9 on the Japanese TDs are finally here they split off at the G2 the tier 6 Japanese medium tank with this one the Cheeto SPG as you can see well it's pretty average to be perfectly honest with you but What's it actually like to play? Well, you can see, you know, it's mediocre damage, mediocre everything, realistically. And it's pretty big. And it's basically a tank destroyer on a Cheeto, which isn't the best tank. So this is me, and I, I, I only rolled out in, like, one game in this thing. And, in fact, I've played all the TDs now, and I've only played one game in... All of them apart from the tier 10, which I played two games. Mainly because the first game only got a third class, which was no good. So here we are, and already I'm waiting for my team. <laughs> They're not really moving. I am top tier, yes, I admit. But the fact of the matter is, uh, this thing is a bit sluggish. It's not brilliant. You're at tier 7 as well, so you're pretty thin armor-wise, although you will bounce if you can get the angles correct. Thing about this tank, okay, it's got a 7 second reload, but it's got a particularly nice gun, and it does dish out quite a nice amount of damage, to be fair. Accuracy-wise, well, it's a TD, it's, you know, the aim time is pretty long, but it's not that bad. The thing I like about this tank is, well, it's got a nice gun, that's about it. Everything else I find is a bit sluggish, so you need to take your time on it. Like I said, you will bounce, as you'll see now. There you go, I bounced him. I'm not going to bounce the SU. Now, the SU is a tier 6, and he is really going to give me a hard time. P43 Biz, I'm going to give him a hard time. It's that straightforward. It's not a bad tank for the introduction to the line, I must admit. But, it is a challenging tank. Don't expect these things to be broken or OP. They are not, well, especially this one. They're far from it, in fact. Like I said, it's sluggish. The armor is a bit meh. The gun could be slightly better. And this is the up-tiered gun, by the way. I wasn't impressed with this particular tank, to be perfectly honest with you. It wasn't truly bad. I mean, I, I didn't sit there and go, oh my God, this is just as bad as a Vindicator. It's not. It's okay. But it's not going to set the world on fire. And it's not a brilliant tank. But it's a nice introduction to the line. And as you can see there, we get, what, a second class. Um, we didn't do too badly. Next up, we have the Ori T1. This is the Tier 8 TD and it's a nice little tank. As you can see, damage is quite good, rate of fire is pretty bad, penetration is very good, armor is okay, speed is okay, rotation is not too bad. When we start looking into the depth of it, hit points, mm, pretty mediocre, armor, mm, pretty mediocre, camo, pretty poor, but stationary is pretty good. DPM, 2,599, reload time, just shy of nine and a half seconds, realistically. Penetration, 260, 312, 66. Damage, 400, 340, 515. Aim time, four seconds, which is a lot. Depression, eight degrees, which isn't much. But, again, what is this one like? Well, I like this one. Now, I could be saying that because I had a nice game in it, <laughs> rather than anything else. But what I found with this one was, okay, you will bounce things, but once you get used to the gun, it does have very, very nice penetration. And it does also dish out quite a lot of damage. You can live with the aim time, although it is a bit of a pain, and you can live with the reload, which isn't that 
bad when you're dishing out this much damage. Okay, it's not ISU damage, but it's pretty nice. The tank again is pretty big, as you can see here. It's massive. It's, it's a big box on a medium chassis. The thing that makes this tank, the armor is trolley and the gun is fantastic. I like this tank. I thought maneuverability as well was pretty nice. As you can see here, the IS-3 is going to get a smack of 420. So, you know, there's some good things going for this tank compared to the Tier 7 tank, which I thought was pretty bland. This one, for Tier 8, it's not that bad at all. Like I said, I could be biased because I had a good time in this game. So it could be just that. Um, I, I won't lie, I, I get an ace in this game. So it could be because I just played it particularly well that I have a bit of a soft spot for it. But I did find it a nice tank. Whereas, as I said, the tier 7 I found a bit mm, lacking, to be honest with you. I think the good on this is superb compared to the tier 7. I'll, I'll be honest. So, you know, this one is, is worth it. But... You have to be careful with it still. It's still the arm is still not the best. And you know, the aim time is still pretty high and the reload is still pretty long. But apart from that, you will have fun in this one compared to the Cheeto tank destroyer. Well, SPG. This one is is more forgiving, so to speak. You can it, it's still big, it's still cumbersome, it's still slightly sluggish but not as sluggish as the Cheeto SPG. As you can see here, I've already done, what, 1600 damage, again, not setting the world on fire in this thing. We are losing the team rapidly, <laughs> unfortunately, but I'm gonna show you in a moment why I like this gun, because I think this gun is fantastic. Now, I do have the refined barrel on it, and this is what happens when you have a refined barrel. There's that Pantada, there goes that Pantara. That is what you can do with this tank. I do like the gun, and I do like it with the refined barrel. I must, you know, I, I, I could have had the vertical stabilizer, but I didn't plan on moving very quickly in this thing. That refined barrel, however, really does help a lot in this type of tank. You really can get some good shots out of it over distance. And that's what I enjoyed about it. I enjoyed that part and that aspect. All in all, I thought the tank was quite nice. Um, it could be better, I admit, but I thought this one was quite nice. It's a vast improvement over the tier seven. Okay, I'm not gonna pen the Jaegeru there. Jaegeru, clearly it's a Jag 88. Jag Tiger 88. So I'm not gonna pen him, so I'm gonna to switch to the premium man, which is AP. In fact, they're all AP, um, premium AP, that is. I, I, I get to smack him, which was nice. Unfortunately, their TD, their uh, Ho-Ri there, is, is unfortunately out of action. He's AFK. So, Mr. Martin Dogger's clan, by the way. Uh, EMRS. Shh, don't tell him. I didn't know that. Somebody kindly tells me that the hero is uh, out of action at AFK. So, that's like, you're just nice, isn't it, really? It's Ho Re, isn't it? Yeah, Ho Hero, Ho Re. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <clears throat> so I get to smack him and get some free HP and damage. That's pretty nice, I think. There we go again. Let's smack him once more just for the kill. Switch back to normal AP. There's the uh, Yag Tiger 88. I'm going to take one off him. I have plenty of hit points left. And I'm going to smack him up the nose and take him out. 3,843 damage. We blocked 400. We took four kills. And it was nice to get a mastery in the first game out. Like I said, I thought it was a vast improvement, but I could be biased because of that game. Next up, we have the Ho-Ri T2. This is the Tier 9 TD. And as you can see, damage, not bad. Rate of fire, pretty low. Hit points, well, we go up to 1,500. Armour, mm, the front is not bad. Everything else, pretty pants. Concealment is below average. DPM is 2,651. Reload time is just shy of 13 seconds now. Penetration, 305. 357 and 94. Damage, 
560, 545, and 640. Depression, a standard 8 degrees again. Speed for a big lumbering TD, it's not too bad. 37 forwards, 15 backwards. So, this was my first game in it. I thought, well, let's give it a bash, see what it's like. Um, I don't know where the team's going. Uh, we did say during the countdown that we we're going to go this way. Then they all buggered off the other way, apart from one. But a game with the refined gun, look at this, boom, you can knock 550, 547 into that E50, which is nice considering the shot that had to be made. Um, you know, again, if you're gonna get these TDs, guys, don't bother with the vertical stabilizer. Get that gun, that refined gun in there, that refiled barrel, because it really does help a lot with these tanks. That's what I would recommend. Anyway, I, I, I stuck them in and I had beautiful shots coming out of these things. I mean, the guns are pretty good across the board. This one, well, again, it's a bit sluggish. It's a big brute, but look at that gun. I mean, it's good. This one is a rear-mounted type turret, pretty much like the Death Star. Um, obviously, a much better reload um, and less damage. But for a tier 9 TD, again, it's a big box. It is pretty tall, but it's quite nice. In a moment, I'm going to show you how nice it is. I'm going to smack that Maushin. Now, the Maushin, as we know, is pretty difficult to pen frontally in certain tanks. Not so in this thing. And, okay, I've switched up the ammo again, but boom, look at that. 500 almost straight into the front of him. That, that's nice. I enjoyed that. I don't think he enjoyed it, but I certainly enjoyed it. So I've done 1500 damage, I'm not setting the world on fire, I'm going to smack him again just for good measure. And just get that look over that idler wheel, another 470 odd. I forget to switch ammo here, I'm going to bounce the Yag Tiger, this is the tier 9 Yag Tiger by the way, the proper version, and then I'm going to set his engine on fire just because I can. So you can bounce in this thing. We've done 3010 damage we bounce 460 unfortunately that's all we've got for this game because somebody comes in and takes the last kill which is the motion but i'm quite happy with it and again i like this tank i thought it was a nice tank i thought it was an interesting tank i love the gun however it is a td and you need to remember that so we get a third class there we came top tank and it was quite nice last but by no means least is the ho re the tier 10 good damage Pants rate of fire, great penetration. 1750 hit points, front armor, well, it's not too bad, 250. Camo, well, it's not bad either, it's pretty middle of the road. DPM is 3093, wowzers. Reload time is just shy of 11 seconds. Your penetration is 326, 399, and 94, and you're dishing out 560, 545, and 640. Aim time, 3.2. Two depression this one down to six degrees because it's rear mounted top speed 50 going forwards 20 going backwards so it's no slow coach or slouch now i admit this was my second game in this tank the first game i i did get a third class but mm, you know i wasn't overly impressed mainly because i died uh, we won the game but i died um and it was an okay game but this one was better so, unfortunately, and this one's better for a couple of other reasons. One, it's going to show you how good the gun is, but more importantly, it's going to show you how good the armor is. And that's the thing. So, as you can see, the penetration with your AP on the IS-7 is pretty difficult. I mean, it's difficult at the best of times in an IS-7. So, we're stuck down here at the moment. Nobody's really presenting, so we've got to do something about that. Why sit at the back when nothing presents when you can move forward? Okay, I get smacked from my troubles by the IS-7, but that's not the end of the world, is it? Now, I'd love to be able to get rid of this T-57 Heavy. You know, I was hoping that E-5 would have dispatched him somewhere, but he doesn't. So, I'm now going to be stuck, instead of being stuck at the back of the map, I'm now going to be stuck behind a rock, which is equally as annoying, to be perfectly honest with you. Now, I know the IS-7 has got pants good in depression, so he's not going to be able to get anything on me unless he comes over the top. And I'm hoping the E-5 will cover that scenario. I want that T-57 Heavy to come around the corner. He is not playing ball, however. Clearly, we're not on the same wavelength, which is really bloody annoying. So, he's not going to come. 
Now I've got the IS-7 and I've got the Mark VI to contend with. I can see the Jaeger route at the back. Let's pop out and see if we can smack this IS-7. No, we can't, which is really annoying. So far we've done bugger all, um, other than waste our rounds. The game does get better. I assure you, it gets more interesting than this. So now let's go for the Mark VI. He smacks me, then I bounce the 57. I'm not going to bounce him twice though. No, he's going to get me. But am I going to bounce him the next time? Yes, I am. So we've bounced a 100 and we've dished out 543 in damage, which is okay so far. We are stuck, however, behind a rock, which, as I said, is rather annoying. Now I'm going to switch it over to AP, the premium AP, because I have been bouncing everything and I bounced two more. Now we're up to 1660 in bounces. That I can live with. The IS-7 is making a move, bless him. Can I smack him? Yes, I can, 536, because the AP on this thing has really good pen. Can I bounce again? No, but now I've got somebody behind me. I want somebody to take him out, and our E5 does take out the E4. I am now on nine hit points. I've bounced 2,120, and I've dished out 2,191. Scrub that, 2,756. I haven't killed anything, as you can see, but I've been holding my own quite nicely here. 2,120 bounces, that's a lot of HP that could have been going somewhere else. So I'm doing a good job here. Hello, T57 Heavy. Goodbye, T57 Heavy. Finally take a kill. 2,855 now. Is the IS-7 going to come around the corner? No, he's dead. So now we've got three tanks left. We've got the Mark VI, the Jaegeru, and um, I can't remember what else it is. T-54, I believe, or T-62A, I can't remember. So, okay, it's got to be a T-54, hasn't it, because it's tier 9. So maybe we can push this Mark VI now. Maybe. Let's see. Let's have a look. Boom, yes, we can. 514. Now we're up to 3,369. There's the T-54. Ooh, just wasn't going to be able to load in time. Is anybody else going to get him? No, the T-30 can't get the Chieftain. Can I get the Chieftain? Of course. Bang. 339. So 3,708. That's not too bad on the grounds that we've only got nine hit points left. And on the grounds that we've been on nine hit points for quite a long time. And by the way, I do think the camo is pretty funky. It's pretty nice. Don't get the T-54, unfortunately. There's the jaeger I can't stick my nose anywhere near him because I've got nine hit points. So I need to sort of back away and go this way. Unfortunately, someone's going to kill him before I get there. Nevertheless, you know, we did 3,700 damage. We bounced 2,120. I think that's a pretty nice game. And I think the tank is not too bad. To be honest with you, in fact, I think it's 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 an okay tank. It's certainly not the best TD in tier ten, but you know it's not bad at all. It's not the worst. So in a recap, G two uh, SPG not a great tank. When you get start getting to the uh, he re ho re one ho re two and the ho re, however, they're not too bad. They're not fantastically brilliant. They do have flaws. Don't get me wrong. They're not broken and they're certainly not OP. But they're not bad, to be honest with you. My advice is get get rid of that Chi 2 uh, SPG as soon as possible. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been a brief look at the Japanese TDs. They're now out, thanks to update 6.9. By the way, if you've got any decent replays, send them to me, Fujit's Blitz at gmail.com or post them to my Discord server. If you haven't yet pressed subscribe, please do. It's a lovely thing to do. As always, I'd like to say a big thanks to my Patreons, who without their support, these videos would be a lot harder, believe it or not. So thanks, guys, for sticking in there and supporting me. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.